Okay. okay, we have microphones on each side of the room. Coach, you want to go ahead and start, and then we'll open up for questions. Yeah, I thought, um, you know, considering what we found out before the game with Cam, um, you know, I thought we got, our guys went out and battled uh, extremely hard all the way to the end. Uh, I'm proud of them for that. They, uh, you know, are continuing through a tough stretch. Uh, come in every day and work on getting better and, and continue to come out and play uh, with great intensity and great effort. Uh, obviously, we'd like the execution better, but when you're missing your guy that's got the ball in his hands between 35 and 38 minutes uh, every game, uh, you're going to struggle with some of those possessions. I thought when we moved it, got the ball shifted side to side, we had some really quality uh, possessions out there. Uh, you know, I give Illinois a lot of credit. Those guys are playing extremely well, and uh, Brad's done an excellent job this year uh, of getting those guys to play uh, very quality basketball. And, um, you know, it's a team that I think is built. Uh, for the postseason with those guards, uh, the way they can get the paint with size, obviously with Kofi and Georgie, and uh, you know just a, a really quality team. So uh, again, I'm proud of our guys for going out there and fighting, battling. Uh, you know, if we keep doing that, hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to get one of these on the stretch. Fred, how does their team change with Kofi on the court? I mean, he was a plus 21 tonight. Yeah, he's uh, he's a dominant player in there. He's he's you know they they had 14 more possessions than we did tonight. A lot of them due to him, just with offensive rebounds, and we had too many turnovers, 13 turnovers uh, in that game as well. So to give them 14 extra possessions, uh, and I think they had 14 second chance points on us as well. Uh, it's tough to win a game on the road uh, when you do that when you give a team that many extra bullets. Uh, you know, I I thought. Uh, Transition in the first half was very poor uh, for us. We gave up a lot second half. We did a much better job uh, of getting back. You know, they get those six points right before halftime to give them momentum, including that 70-footer. Uh, you know, it's tough, but our guys came out, battled, came back and tied it, I think, with about 15 left. Uh, and then they go on an 11-1 run, and, and we just uh, couldn't quite get back uh, into it after that. But, you know, it seems to be that for our team every game is eliminating that stretch uh, where a team goes on a big run on us. Uh, like that, but you know, it had nothing to do with effort tonight. Uh, you know, we'll continue to go out and battle again. I'm, you know, I'm going to be proud of these guys no matter what the outcome is. I don't know if I answered your question. But, yeah. I thought Cheatham caused some problems at both ends with his aggressiveness and uh, his uh, uh, more aggressiveness. <coughs> really aggressive play. Yeah, I, I th and he's playing playing very well right now. He's playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, he had a couple plays at the rim uh, that he had been finishing that he didn't finish tonight. And again, Kofi, I think, had uh, a lot to do with that. You know, I thought we really challenged him early when we could have drove, driven in there uh, and made the extra play or kicked out, which we did. Uh, Gervais got Thor uh, three. We got Hanif for three late uh, in the corner. But, you know, Hanif continues to go out there and do a lot of things for this team. Uh, he's just been a rock star for us, leadership, and, uh, you know, much needed with this group. and. You know, going out there and being, uh, you know, just a solid uh, force uh, for a group. So, you know, I'm happy for him the way he's playing and going out uh, in his career, uh, playing maybe his best basketball. The same position. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you.